I call the May 16th, 2017 Riverton City Council Finance Committee meeting to order at 6.46 p.m. The chair would entertain a motion on the consideration of claims. Ma'am, consideration of claims to be paid in the amount of $367,170,021 for payroll and liabilities for 428.17 in the amount of $424,761.18 in the manual checks in the amount of $15.45 for a total of $791,946.84. Do I have a second? Second. It has been properly moved and seconded. Does anyone have any questions uh, or discussions about the bills? <coughs> okay. Um, the, then all in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion passes. Then do we have anything else that you'd like to add? Aye. Madam Chair. Is Kyle on this uh, uh, $87,391.31 to, to our um, Riverton Airlines? Uh, is that an accumulation or what? That normally is about $32,000. Madam Chairwoman, Councilman Larson, that will um, encompass a couple weeks' payment. And you'll forgive me, I don't have it right in front of me, but at that, <coughs> that would represent um, most likely two weeks worth of payment for the minimum revenue. You're saying two weeks, you mean two months? <coughs> Chairwoman, Councilman, can you please tell me which page you're looking at and then I can look at it? I'm looking at the front page. Okay. Thank you. He'll need to, it's, uh, we have an addition, Kyle. Uh, it's not there for your view yet. There you go. Oh, I see. Additional claim. It's under additional claims. Yeah, for the eighty-seven thousand. Correct. Thank you. So, um, Madam Chairwoman, uh, Councilman Larson, we've been averaging around forty thousand dollars on our weekly payments. So, depending on those totals and I'd be happy to go check those that could represent two to three weeks on that our lowest payment thus far per week on the minimum revenue guarantee has been around twenty thousand dollars our highest has been um, a little over forty thousand dollars and so when we look at a total of eighty seven thousand um, that could represent uh, two to three weeks worth of payment for the minimum revenue guarantee. is our is our uh Boarding drop that much, or Madam Chairwoman, uh, Councilman Larson, our boardings haven't necessarily dropped, but we're coming out of a slow season for travel. Um, our bookings are increasing, but our bookings are for those summer months when people are traveling, and so uh, right now we're we're pulling out of the low travel season, um, and that probably represents what you're referencing there. Thank you. Thank you. Other questions? No, ma'am. <laughs> then meeting adjourned at 6.50. Of the United States of America and, and to, to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, under God indivisible, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our Father in heaven, we thank thee for the opportunity to be on the council and to serve Riverton. Thankful for all the blessings that we have. Thankful for the citizens that strive to make this place a better place. Thankful for the support for the police force that we honor for their sacrifices. We are thankful for all the blessings that we have, and we say this humbly, name thy Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Uh, the chair would...
Let's see, uh, would the city clerk please conduct the roll call? Yes, Your Honor. Councilwoman Holly Gibbon. Here. Councilman Sean Peterson. Here. Councilmember Kyle Larson. Present. Councilmember Tim, ha Tim Hancock. Here. Mayor John Baker. I am present. Uh, I would entertain a motion to excuse uh, Lance Gody and Mike Bailey from tonight's meeting. I'd move to excuse Councilman Bailey and Councilman Gody from tonight's meeting. Second. Been moved and seconded. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Mayor votes aye, and I declare that we do have a quorum. Uh, the chair would entertain a motion for the approval of the agenda. Motion to approve the agenda. Oh. Second. Excuse me just a minute. <laughs> chair would entertain a motion to approve the agenda as presented with the exception of the consent agenda item pro proposed 2017-18 Wind River Visitors Council budget plan to be discussed after item 9 and the clarification that um, resolution 1355 is community development fee increase and resolution 1356 is establishing temporary merchant fees. So moved. Second. Any discussion about those? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Mayor votes aye and motion passes. Communications from the floor. Anyone wishing to address the council regarding an item that is already on the agenda will be given an opportunity to speak later on. Uh, I would ask those individuals who wish to address the council at this time to approach the podium and identify yourselves for the record. Mayor Baker and council, um, my name is Jonathan Schmidt. I'm with the American Cancer Society. And I've actually been speaking with uh, Kristen Watson for a uh, number of years about um, Relay for Life and the American Cancer Society. Uh, this morning I was in uh, Gillette, Wyoming, round 11. I was in Sheridan, and I am uh, now here this evening, and tomorrow I'll be in Rock Springs. And uh, um, it's given me a unique opportunity to be able to see Wyoming uh, and to be very impressed with uh, Wyoming's commitment to continue the work to fight cancer. Uh, one of the reasons I'm here to speak with you this evening is to, to talk with you a little bit more about uh, who we are and why it's important for Riverton. Uh, the American Cancer Society was founded in 1913 and it was founded by 15 uh, businessmen and physicians. And their original goal was to kind of, not kind of, it was to bring uh, cancer out of the closet was something that was hidden and since that time it's been American Cancer Society's uh, primary mission to keep cancer at the forefront of uh, whether it be the public sector whether it be education whether it be in the halls of government to keep it in the forefront of everyone's mind that uh, you know cancer never sleeps nor should we and that's the reason why uh, Relay for Life was started back in 1985 by Gordy Klatt. Uh, he was a physician out of Tacoma, Washington, and he wanted to do something more in terms of fighting cancer. He had just lost a patient to cancer and wanted to take some active steps. And so in that first year, 1985, he decided that he was going to run all night or for 24 hours. And then he was gonna have his friends join him at different legs of his running, and they paid $25 to do that. And by the end of 24 hours, he had run 83 miles and raised $27,000. Since that time, Relay for Life uh, was, was formed and has become a worldwide movement. It's the largest fundraising movement in the world. It has raised uh, over $5 billion for cancer research. Currently, the American Cancer Society is second only to the federal government in granting research funds. And so research is something that we take very seriously. Uh, it's something that uh, I think should continue to be at the forefront of everyone's mind. This year in 2017, uh, there will be an estimated uh, 2,760 people who will be diagnosed with cancer here in Wyoming. Nine, 960 will die from cancer this year in Wyoming. Uh, and so obviously we have a lot of work uh, that we need to do. And so um, one of the things that I'm asking the council and, uh, and the mayor is we're always looking in every community for champions to speak 
on behalf of the American Cancer Society. <laughs> American Cancer Society, because it's a national organization, even an international organization, can of often be seen as this large corporation that's make, taking money away from Wyoming. Uh, this past year, uh, $792,000 was granted to Dr. Levy at the University of Wyoming, where he is stutter, studying the nucleus, uh, and also another $294,000 was granted to patients in, in lodging stays in various cities around where people were having to uh, be treated for cancer. So just in those two things alone, over a million dollars came back into the state of Wyoming. Last year, Wyoming raised just a little over $500,000. And so it was over $500,000 that came back into the state of Wyoming. And that was only through two programs. There's other programs as well. and that's. That's another reason why I'm here, because a lot of times people don't know uh, where to turn when uh, they've been diagnosed with cancer. It's one of the hardest things that anyone will hear. Uh, even in uh, December, I had a scare with colon cancer. And, you know, I go in for just a routine checkup, and the next thing I know, the nurse is asking me a whole lot of other questions that I wasn't anticipating, because something came back from one of my uh, my blood, some of my blood work, and at one point they go, we have to rule out cancer. And so I can, at that moment, all the thoughts that went through my head, I can't imagine what it is when somebody actually hears the words, you have cancer. And so it's one of the hardest things that people hear. And it's our firm belief that as hard as it is, is to hear you have cancer, it shouldn't be hard for them to find help. And that's the reason why you have uh, the cards in front of you and also where to turn uh, when you're diagnosed with cancer. On there, there's two uh, programs, cancer.org, uh, and a lot of people say, okay, it's a website. Well, on cancer.org, uh, just as an example, if you were to type in Gleevec, which is one of the, which was one of the drugs that was developed through research for the, uh, through the American Cancer Society's funding, uh, you will see what Gleevec is used for, uh, a drug that's being used for Sarah Miller in Casper, Wyoming, that has uh, lengthened her life from a cancer that used to be uh, a death sentence. Um, so uh, you can go on there. You can find out about your diagnosis. You can find out all kinds of information. The 1-800 number, and the 1-800 Hundred number is actually staffed by human beings. You're not going to have to go through a tree saying, you know, type one, type two, or you know, whatever it is. You'll actually uh, reach an, a human being, and a lot of times they are highly trained, and some of them are even oncology nurses. And uh, you can reach them 24/7. And I've heard stories across Wyoming where people have awoken at two in the morning after being diagnosed with cancer, and they call the 1-800 number to be able to just get some counsel and to have somebody be able to hear their fears and their concerns. And more importantly, I don't know if more importantly, but a very important aspect of the 1-800 number is it can also connect people up to clinical trials. And the clinical trials I have seen over and over again when doctors have said there's nothing more that we can do, uh, they have been connected with clinical trials and then 20 years later, I'm standing there talking with the survivor who went through a clinical trial. And so there's some amazing resources. You know, I, I call those the two portals into a vast database of resources that cancer patients, when they're diagnosed, they do not have the time or the resources often to be able to find out that information. And so, um, you know, those are two things that, you know, I'd really ask uh, City of Riverton uh, to consider is to continue to get the word out about the resources that are available to people. Help people to know that the American Cancer Society is, is here to really help uh, the people in Riverton, Du Bois, uh, Lander, uh, all of Fremont County. And then finally, I'll leave you with this. <clears throat> we know that 50% of cancer can be prevented through healthier lifestyles, both through nutrition 
avoiding tobacco, reducing alcohol, and getting screenings when they should. Wyoming right now ranks as one of the, ranks the lowest in colon, uh, uh, colon screenings. Both my dad and my father-in-law uh, died from colon cancer. And yet co colon cancer is one of the easier forms of cancer to cure. And I would love to see those statistics change in the state of Wyoming. And there's a lot of reasons why it's low. The remote nature of, uh, of where some people live, the difficulty to get to treatment and stuff. But uh, I do think that more of an encouragement in, in whatever ways we can, 50% uh, is no small number of uh, being able to prevent cancer. And so uh, thank you for your time. I appreciate the opportunity to be here. Um, and thank you, Mayor. Thank you. And yes, and we have a Relay for Life event coming. Oh, yes. And thank you for that. Okay. Well, yeah. plug that. So Relay for Life is uh, taking place uh, June 3rd, and it will be at the Riverton High School track. And for those of you who have never been to a Relay for Life event, uh, there's a whole lot of teams. Uh, we have about, uh, we have 24 teams that are signed up. The school has showed up in a big way. Uh, we have several schools that are participating. Uh, and it's a, it's a great opportunity to come out, uh, support the community. It recognizes all cancers, <clears throat> excuse me. And, uh, and it's, a, it's a great way to fundraise. And we try to make it a very community, family-friendly event. So I, ho I hope to see some of you out there. And that, that's June 3rd. It will start at four o'clock for a survivor dinner where we recognize the survivors and honor them. And it'll go until midnight. So Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the reminder. You bet. You yeah. bet. All right. right. Uh, <clears throat> will the city clerk please read the consent agenda items by title only? Yes, Your Honor. Approval of the minutes May 2nd, 2017 regular council meeting. Approval of the minutes May 2nd, 2017 executive session meeting. Approval of the minutes May 9th, 2017 special meeting work session. Approval of the minutes, May 6, 2017, <coughs> Finance Committee meeting. Approval of the Finance Committee recommendations for May 16, 2017. Approval of the mis Municipal Court report for the month of April 2017. Approval of the Open Container Permit application for D. Shackley on July 29, 2017 for an 80th birthday party at Sunset Park from 3 p.m. to 11 p.m. Approval of ordinance number 17-005 on second reading. Um, proposed ordinance number 17-005, an ordinance amending Title IX, Public Peace, Morals and Welf Welfare, chapters 9.04, offenses by or against public officers and government, and 9.08, offenses against public peace and decency, repealing sections 9.04.050, harass or interfere with any dog used by the police department, 9.08.050, unlawful to assemble, 9.05.060, unlawful to collect in crowds, 9.08.120, secret stalls, etc., prohibited in certain establishments, 9.08.170, solicitation of fornication, adultery, or illicit in course of the Riverton Municipal Code, and repealing all ordinances or parts of ordinances in conflict therewith and providing for an effective date. Approval, approval of ordinance number 17-006 on second reading and ordinance amending title 17 zoning, revising chapter 17.32 R2 residential district, section 17.32.010A uses and 17.32.020B and C of the Riverton Municipal Code and repealing all ordinances or parts of ordinances in conflict therewith and providing for an effective date. Proposed ordinance number 17-007 on second reading, an ordinance amending Title 17 zoning to revise Chapter 17.12, zoning districts designated, 17.16 general requirements, 17.36 RA residential district, 17.80 MHP Mobile Home Park District of the Riverton Municipal Code and repealing all ordinances or parts of ordinances in conflict therewith and providing for an effective date. 
Proposed ordinance number 17-004 on second reading, an ordinance amending Title V business licenses and regulations, revising Chapter 5.04, alcoholic beverages, Section 5.04.010, definitions of the Riverton Municipal Code and repealing all ordinances or parts of ordinances in conflict therewith, providing for an effective date. Proposed ordinance number 17-009 on second reading, an ordinance amending Title V business licenses and regulations, revising Chapter 5.04, alcoholic beverages, Section 5.04.020, sales establishments generally, 5.04.050, hours of sale, 5.04.110 A, A2, and B, drive-in area requirements, 5.04.140 A1, application generally of the Riverton Municipal Code and repealing all ordinances or parts of ordinances and conflict therewith and providing for an effective date. Proposed ordinance number 17-010, an ordinance amending Title V business licenses and regulations, revising Chapter 5.04, alcoholic beverages, Section 5.04.030C, sale, etc., to or by persons under the age of 21 years at the Riverton Municipal Code and repealing all ordinances or parts of ordinances in conflict therewith and providing for an effective date. Proposed ordinance number 17-0011 on second reading an ordinance amending Title V business licenses and regulations, revising Chapter 5.04, alcoholic beverages, Section 5.04.170, issuance or denial, 5.04.210B, term, transfer, etc., at the Riverton Municipal Code and repealing all ordinances or parts of ordinances in conflict therewith and providing for an effective date. And proposed ordinance number 17-012 on second reading, an ordinance amending Title V business licenses and regulations, revising Chapter 5.04, alcoholic beverages, Section 5.04.180, restrictions on issuance of the Riverton Municipal Code and repealing all ordinances or parts of ordinances in conflict therewith and providing for an effective date. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that was a mouthful. <laughs> That's pretty good, Kristen. I, I tracked you word for word. You did all right. <laughs> hey, are there any other items that are up for discussion? Sadly, yeah, but <laughs> I don't want to go after that. <laughs> I only have two sentences, I promise. Okay. And I can't mess these ones up because that was amazing. Yeah, ready? Ready. <laughs> Recommendations from the Finance Committee for bills to be paid in the amount of $367,170.21 payroll liabilities for 428.17 in the amount of $424,761.18 and manual checks in the amount of $15.45 for a total of $791,946.84. The chairman entertain a motion to approve the consent agenda. Motion to approve the consent agenda. Second. Been moved and seconded. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Mayor votes aye and the motion passes. The next item of business is interim police chief's report. Introduction of new police officer. Your Honor, if I may. It is my pleasure to introduce a new police officer. We've hired Casey Tadwald. Casey, come on up. Casey's here with his family. Uh, Casey was a sheriff's deputy or a detention officer for five years. He has five kids. He's married, uh, and he grew up in Lusk, Wyoming, so he is a, uh, a local boy of sorts. Um, he's been with us about six weeks. He's in his second phase of training and is doing very well. So uh, we'd like to get him his uh, oath of office sworn in tonight, if you would, please, and uh, get him on his way to a great career with the Riverton Police Department. Good. So you're going to have me do the swearing in, huh? Yes, sir. That's okay. <coughs> yes, sir. Kind of looks like him, too. <laughs> so you've got yours. You can read off of that, Casey. Yes, sir. I, I've got mine right here. So raise your right hand. I do solemnly swear or affirm. 
I do solemnly swear or affirm that I will support, obey, and defend. That I will support, obey, and defend the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Wyoming. And the Constitution of the State of Wyoming. That I have not knowingly violated any law. That I have not knowingly violated any law. Related to my election or appointment related to my election or appointment or caused it to be done by others or cause it to be done by others that I will discharge my duty the duties of my office with fidelity the, and that I will discharge the duties of my office with fidelity cool thank you Turn around, girls. Okay. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's cool. Great. Oh. There you go. It's your pick. Thank you. Okay, the next item on the agenda is the one that we took off of uh, consent, the uh, Wind River Visitors Council uh, proposed budget. Uh, and, and I would like to just table that until our next meeting. Uh, they don't have a meeting. The, the Wind River Visitors Council, this is a tentative budget. Their, their council meeting is next week. Okay, and so then a week from now or two weeks from now, we'll have their budget to actually vote on. Okay? So... Table. We need a motion. To we do. I move we table it. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. All those opposed? Fair votes aye. And the motion has been tabled until uh, June the 6th, is it? Uh, public hearing and consideration of resolution 1356 establishing temporary merchant fees community development directors report please yes your honor uh, resolution 1356 uh, this is uh, the proposal for uh, the fees that we had discussed at the last uh, council meeting for the temporary merchant permitting. We've uh, discussed these obviously extensively for this, for our temporary merchant ordinance. Uh, we were given quite a few suggestions from different groups and from the city council. After the work session last week, we believe the direction was to set one apl application fee for temporary merchants that would be valid for one year uh, from the date of application and so we are proposing a fee of a hundred dollars to cover the administrative costs associated with that permit we have also established a fee for the special event that has for a special event that has been approved by council prior to issuance of the permit for vendors on municipal owned property and that's what we have the, would the city clerk please read the resolution by title only? Yes, Your Honor. A resolution establishing the amount of fees for temporary merchants within the city of Riverton, Wyoming. Chair would entertain a motion to open public hearing. So moved. Second. Then moved and seconded that we open that public hearing. Is there any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? 
Mayor votes aye and motion passes. I now declare the public hearing to be open. The hearing will be conducted in accordance with state statutes with other applicable laws. I would ask those individuals wishing to address the council to approach the podium and identify yourselves for the record. Is there anyone in the audience wishing to speak? I'm Skip Gillen. And I had a couple questions. I saw in the paper here where you've set the dates already for the 18th and 19th for the for the special permits for the uh, for the eclipse. Now I, that's what I'm wondering about because that's a Friday and Saturday. Friday, most people are going to be working Riverton. Now Saturday and Sunday would be a, is a weekend, and Monday is an actual eclipse. Yeah. So. No, I don't think that's correct. Okay, a typo in the paper. I think, yeah, I don't, I don't think okay. that's correct. <laughs> I don't okay. Think. okay, and let's see, there was one other thing. Oh, here, I have some information for Kyle. We've been doing a little checking, looking for spots. Uh, we went down there to the park. This is the skate park for Fremont Street. Street. All these street lights that's in the park all have lights to pull out lights. We have them there. Okay. So, Thank you. Yeah, basically that's, oh, uh, when will the permits be going on sale? Do you, can you tell us that now? There'll be a meeting tomorrow. Oh, I'm sorry, Your Honor. Go right ahead, Sean. There'll be a meeting tomorrow at 10 o'clock, and we'll start discussing all that stuff. Right here at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Okay, great. Perfect. Okay, thank Look you. Look forward to seeing you. You guys have a good evening. Sorry, sorry for that, Mayor. That's all right. That's all right. I can handle that one. I got that one. You got that one. Thank you. <laughs> My good deed for today. Is that thank one? you. I'm done. I'm sitting back down there. Okay. All right. Any other comments during the public hearing process? I'd entertain a motion to close the public hearing. Motion to close the public hearing. Seconded. Been moved and seconded that we close the public hearing. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? <laughs> Mayor votes aye and I now declare that the public hearing is closed. The chair would entertain a motion to approve resolution 1355. Um, no, it's just a resolution, right? Fees. Oh, okay. It's just to set the fees. Okay. And do we have that? I haven't seen that. 72. Go to 72. 72. It took me a while to find it, too. Why? Resolution 1356, fee schedule, discussion. Okay, so what we're talking about is, is application fee of $100 for a duration of one year and on municipal owned property, $100 per event. Okay. And I'd move that we approve resolution number 1356. Second. Been moved and seconded that we approve resolution 1356. Any discussion? Was your honor? Go ahead. Was Mr. there Lawrence. any um, um, on this temporary merchant's permit? Was there any definite sizing, location, limitation, boundaries? Not in the resolution, right? Very good. Thank you. Okay, so we can make adjustments as necessary depending on the event. Okay. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Mayor votes aye and the motion passes. Uh, item number 11, the Federal Aviation Administration Agreement Entitlement Fund Transfer. Public Works Director's Report, please. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, this agreement centers on the ability of the airport and the city to transfer its uh, allocated entitlement funds to another airport. As you're aware, the airport improvement program allows for grants to be issued to the airport for capital improvement projects. Grants associated with um, the AIP program are called entitlement funds and they're qualified by the number of emplanements that you receive at your airport. We've all heard the figure 10,000 or greater, we get $1 million worth of entitlement funds 
If we're below the 10,000 threshold, then we receive $150,000 worth of entitlement funds. Another qualifier for these entitlement funds is that we participate in what's called the National Plan of Integrated Airport Systems. In, in essence, it's a capital plan and then also a, a tracker of our assets at the uh, airport. It's a national program, but we comply with that program through the Wyoming uh, Aviation Capital Improvement Program, the WASIP. As it's written in um, the FAA policies manual and also in the laws established by our Congress, uh, entitlement funds, when entitlement funds, excuse me, exceed the capital needs of an airport, those funds may be transferred to another airport with an understanding that those funds, those allocated funds, would then be transferred back to the um, granting entity in a subsequent fiscal year. So even though the city of Riverton has not surpassed the 10,000 threshold in a couple of years, uh, we do have entitlement funds available to lend to another airport, for lack of a better term. And this is because last year the United States Congress passed an act that allowed airports who did not receive 10,000 or greater inflaments uh, to receive the $1 million entitlement if their 2012 inflaments were above 10,000. In brief, um, pursuant to our capital plan, we do not need to use all of our entitlement funds this upcoming fiscal year. However, Rock Springs Airport is undergoing a major capital uh, improvement project on their uh, FBO building and therefore the FAA has asked if we would transfer our allocated funds to Rock Springs Airport. There is no budget impact in doing this, um, specifically because these are allocated entitlement funds and we will receive um, Rock Springs allocated funds in a subsequent fiscal year when we do need them. So at this time, I am asking that the City Council authorize the Public Works Director, myself, to execute this agreement for transfer of entitlement funds with the Federal Aviation Administration. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. The uh, Chair would entertain a motion. Your Honor, I make a motion that we allow uh, Mr. Butterfield to accept the agreement with the FFA for the transfer of entitlement funds. Second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? So I, I have a question. Okay, so are we planning to do some apron work and lighting and all that kind of stuff? And after all that's done, we still have some money left over, huh? Your Honor, that's correct. I'll be darned. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> okay. Too bad we can't slide that into the general fund budget somehow. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if we start meeting at the airfield. Uh, <laughs> Okay. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Their votes aye and the motion passes. Item 12, Land Water Conservation Fund Grant Acceptance. Public Work Director's Report, please. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, this grant is uh, really in association with the Splash Pad Group and the progress they're making. As you remember, last December, the City Council adopted Resolution 1345 um, supporting a grant application <coughs> to the Land Water Conservation Fund, um, which is administered by, excuse me, which is administered by the State of Wyoming Department of State Parks and Cult Cultural Resources. The application was in the amount of $117,940. It is a 50-50 matching grant, and the good news is um, the City of Riverton has been awarded that grant. And so this, um, uh, my report to you is a simple one in that we're requesting your acceptance of this grant and that you execute the grant uh, with the Land Water Conservation Fund and the Department of State Parks and Cultural Resources. As far as a budget impact, um, the Riverton, uh, excuse me, the Splash Pad Group for our community uh, projects the cost of the Splash Pad improvement to be 255000 879 dollars mm -hmm. and they have fundraised the appropriate amount of money to match this grant uh, this grant as it is federal dollars will not be made available until the federal fiscal year which is october 1st so come october 1 uh, we can work 
with the Splash Pad Group and begin an advertisement for this project and uh, move forward with its construction probably in the spring of 18. Wow. Isn't that, isn't that amazing? And the water conservation thing, maybe they, do they have a recirculating tank? <laughs> <laughs> send my kids there. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh-huh. Oh, wow. Okay. That's pretty good. So the chair would entertain a motion. I guess we're going to accept that grant, huh? Motion to accept the grant application from LWCS. The second. Okay. Moved and seconded to accept the grant. Is there any discussion on that? All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Mayor votes aye. We did that, okay? If you need my signature, I'll be glad to supply it. Great. Okay. The next item is Riverton Water Supply Project Agreement, Amendment Number 4, Public Works Director's Report, please. Thank you. Um, as you are aware, the City of Riverton entered into agreement with the Wyoming Water Development Commission uh, clear back in 2009 when it began its Riverton Water Supply Project. Um, that project centered on the construction of transmission lines, booster stations, well connections, and the storage tank that's located on Airport Hill. Due to the large scope of this project, it was broken into three separate phases. Phase one and two have been completed, and as you are aware, we are waiting on the completion of phase three. Um, this amendment coming before you simply allows the time frame to be extended um, with our agreement that we have currently with the Wyoming Water Development Commission. This is the fourth amendment that we have had to our original agreement from 2009. Um, amendment number one was executed in 2010 and essentially secured more funding for the project and increased the project's scope. Amendment two was executed in 2014 and extended the reversion deadline of the agreement meaning the time allowed to complete the project and a request for grant drawdowns. Amendment 3 was executed in 2015. This amendment secured more funding for the project and then also further extended that reversion deadline. Uh, amendment 4, again, uh, is another extension of that reversion deadline. Uh, the deadline set by amendment number 3 um, put the reversion date at July 1st, 2017. This new one extends that to July 1st, 2020. This gives us, again, more time to complete the project and close it out. Uh, there is no budget impact with extending this uh, deadline and approving amendment number four, and staff recommends that council uh, approve amendment number four to our, our project agreement with the Wyoming Water Development Commission. Chair, would entertain a motion. Your Honor, I move that we approve amendment number four to the Wy Riverton Water Supply Project Agreement from the Wyoming Water Development Commission. Second. Moved and seconded. Discussion. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Mayor votes aye and the motion passes. The public hearing and consideration resolution 1355, community development fee increase. Could we get the uh, community development director's report, please? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, the city of Riverton does review rates and fees annually. As you know, the <coughs> utility fees were uh, adjusted recently. Uh, the this community development department does uh, evaluate our current fees, and we uh, evaluate to see if there's any changes that need to be made, and then we meet with the Construction Board of Appeals for their approval. These, uh, these rates include all of our building permit fees, and it also includes our zoning change fees, variance applications, home occupation, uh, child care permits, and um, uh, the other fees for uh, plat review. So all those fees are within the Community Development Department, and we met with the Construction Board of Appeals in May, and there was a recommendation that we had made to uh, raise the fees, the 3.7%, which is a, cum a cumulative three-year CPI rate. The fees for the, um, 
for the building permits and the other uh, uh, items uh, have not been raised since 2014. So they felt that it was appropriate to raise uh, these fees. Thank you. Uh, a resolution, we'll see. So would the city clerk please read the resolution by title only? Yes, Your Honor. A resolution establishing the amount of fees for certain services and building permits within the city of Riverton, Wyoming. Chair would entertain a motion to open public hearing. So moved. Seconded. Moved and seconded that we open the public hearing. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? I now declare the public hearing open. The hearing will be conducted in accordance with state statutes with other applicable laws. Uh, I would ask those individuals wishing to address the council to approach the podium and identify yourselves for the record. Is there anyone in the audience wishing to speak? Your Honor, considering there's no one in the audience, I would move we close the public <laughs> hearing. Second. <laughs> Been moved and second that we close the public hearing. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Mayor votes aye, and I now declare the public hearing to be closed. The chair would entertain a motion to approve Resolution 1356. Your Honor, I would move that we approve Resolution number 1355. 55? Yeah. Yeah. I think that's right. I think you're right. Okay. Second. Yeah, that's that's right. That's we started out that way, and then got over here and got to 56 as the next item, I guess. So, okay. So, Tim said moved, and Holly said second. Okay. Is there any discussion? All in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Mayor votes aye and the motion passes. Council committee reports and council member round tables. Ms. Gibbon. Um, all I have is that we have the senior endowment meeting tomorrow at the senior center at 10 o'clock. And that's it. Mr. Peterson. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, we have the Eclipse Working Group will meet here at City Hall tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Uh, and then also had an opportunity this week to do an opening ceremony for the Little League. Um, or it was last week, I guess, Thursday of last week. Um, but we got to see the mayor's lost a little bit on his fastball. Um, <laughs> it, still, it, still was, uh, it still was there. A uh, huge shout out to Officer Cody Myers for coming out and doing that. I know there was a lot going on and for them to find time in their busy schedule just shows the support that they have for the youth of the community so I'm grateful for that uh, and it was a great opportunity um, just to pay a little bit of respect for Lee and the dedication and time that he spent um, to the Riverton Little League and the baseball community we had um, kids from every baseball league in the city of Riverton and a couple people from outside of Riverton showed up too to support him so it was really neat to see the support for Lee and Pam was there, and it was just, it was a good heartfelt moment for about 20 minutes, and we played some good baseball. You bet. That's all I have, Your Honor. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Larson. I attended the uh, waste management uh, meeting on Monday in Lander. Uh, report that they have roughly about $12 million set aside for putting the <coughs> Shoshone, uh, Dubois, Hudson landfills into the grave. Uh, and they felt so good that they wanted to give their employees a 5% raise, which was tabled. Um, the uh, current representative from the county felt that it was a little premature, and uh, that's all I have to report, Your Honor. Thank you. <coughs> Mr. Hancock? I just... Uh Officer Tattawald has left, but I've had the opportunity to get to know him a little bit when he was working for the sheriff's office, and I'm just really glad we have him. I think he'll be a very good addition to the police department, and I just wanted to say I've been very impressed. I think that the police department in general has been 
doing good work, and I've been hearing good things about him, and well, honestly, saying good things about him too. So, <laughs> thank you. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I did throw out the ball again for Little League, and this time I almost got it to the plate. <laughs> I, so I sh plate on a bounce. I I did. I I almost got it. I almost got it to the plate. The catcher kept it in front of him. That's what's important. Okay. Two years ago, two years ago, when I threw out the first ball, <laughs> I think it got to the plate on the second bounce, <laughs> and so I am I am getting my range a little bit better. It's 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 further than I usually throw. I guess is what the is what the story is. I just want to make sure that I, at Little League that there isn't anybody there that can't do a better job. <laughs> Mission accomplished, Your Honor. Okay. <laughs> are, you, are you training up for next year? See if you can. Oh, I don't know. Lance's Lance's wife said after that. She says you need to come see me. I've got some tricks. I could, I could fix that arm so that it would work again. <laughs> and I, I did about 15 years ago. I fell down and dislocated my shoulder and didn't recognize it for what it was for months. I just, you know, there was just, I just simply couldn't throw anything overhand. But because I don't throw things overhand very often, it just didn't seem to matter. So, it, uh, you know, for a couple weeks it was sore as the dickens, and then I gradually got to where it, I tolerated it and, you know, it wasn't too bad. And so one day I was complaining about it, and a good friend of mine said, well, gee, let me look at that. And he just moved my arm and it went pop. And so there it is. I was dislocated for about six months, but I have not, I have not really worked on that, you know, to, to get get that back functional and so when it comes to throwing a baseball you can bet that everybody else will be better than I am <laughs> but I was honored to throw out that ball for the game and uh, uh, to uh, remember Lee and and you guys all did a great job on on uh, commemorating his efforts to Little League and uh, um, he, he did uh, he did a lot of service for the for the city of Riverton and and I appreciate it, and we will miss him, no doubt. Uh, I had a meeting with the uh, Solid Waste District, as a matter of fact, and I thought I'd <coughs> maybe pass that on. They're looking forward to a uh, hazardous waste collection day in Fremont County. We did that for quite a few years, and, uh, and people have missed that, and so uh, they would like to do that again. And so the Solid Waste District is willing to sponsor that, but they're hoping to get partners involved in that. And so I think we've put a couple thousand dollars into our budget uh, to handle hazardous, our share of the hazard, hazardous waste collection disposal. Uh, and uh, we're getting money from the uh, Bureau of Indian Affairs. We're getting money from, uh, we hope, Lander, um, uh, conservation districts, all three conservation districts were there. I think we'll probably have enough money in the pot to, they're estimating it's going to cost between ten dollars or $15,000 to dispose of that hazardous waste material. Way back, 15 years ago, or maybe even 20, when we first started that program, there was a lot of farm chemicals out there that came in. And so that was fairly expensive. But I, I just think all that stuff's been picked up. So about the only thing that we wind up with nowadays is some stuff left over in the garage. <coughs> I'm done talking for the night. I'd entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Oh, city administrator, do we have any comments from you? Uh, <laughs> <coughs> Certainly. <laughs> Certainly. Your Honor, the only thing I have to report is to remind the council of the uh, preliminary budget review on the 30th. We are still crunching numbers, believe it or not, as of today. We were still making additions in the revenues, which is a good thing. And we were still decreasing some expenditures. So we are still trying to get to a good place and offer you a good product for your review on the 30th. Okay. What, what time is that going to be? Seven, seven o'clock. That would be during the council meeting. Okay, great. Okay, okay. That, that Tuesday. No surprises. Can you make it? Absolutely none, council members. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Second. Second.
second. Motion still count. <laughs> okay, moved and seconded to adjourn. So that was Tim said yes, right? And that was Sean. And then Sean said second. Okay, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Good motion.